This is First Alert Weather. I'm kind of excited mm -hmm. <laughs> for some fall weather. And you know, it takes me a while. I have to ease into autumn, but um, I'm but getting there. With all that football talk. I know. <laughs> see, we are finally going to have kind of some football weather. <laughs> that's true. And it's not the only reason. I could see out the corner of my eye when were, she's reading the KU story about football. You know, being an alum, Laura's like, ah, bouncing. Uh -huh, uh -huh, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> see? See? Okay. So, yeah, it's going to be a nice but cool, much cooler day for football. And even tonight, we're going to start to see the change moving in here. 50s going down to the 40s, wind chill I have to speak about, mid 40s is what it'll feel like, a few clouds, and as Katie was talking about earlier today, some of these clouds could yield a slight chance of some showers. But right now, let's enjoy the partly cloudy sky and also the very mild conditions. 84 degrees, way above normal. We still have a northwest wind at 11, gusting to 18 miles an hour. That's an indication that the, the front sitting right on top of us. And we're going to get deeper and deeper into the cooler air as the evening goes on. 80s for the most part. 84 in Platte City, 80 in Excelsior Springs, warm as you can tell here in spite of that northwest wind because right now it's shallow, but as time goes on, we're going to get cooler and cooler. Look to the north, already Maryville 76, a hint of that cooler air that's going to move down, but that's only the beginning. Here's a look at first alert clouds and radar. A few of those clouds are showing up, but again, don't pack the umbrella tonight. But by tomorrow morning, some of us could see a stray drop like we did earlier this week with the passage of a previous front that moved through. Look at the temperatures still dropping from the 60s, pretty much 60 degrees even by 11 p.m. No chance of rain, but those clouds will be on the increase. Low temperatures Friday morning, 45. Optional jackets, I would say. Northwest winds at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Good deal of sunshine, but emphasizing the cooler weather. And if we start at 45 degrees, which is cooler than it was today, we aren't going to warm up much at all. And that's why this graphic looks a little squished. Our high only about 57 degrees. Compare that to the 80s we have going on right now. That's why it's going to be, once again, jacket weather. North winds at 10 miles per hour. Looking at the region, cool. Closer to normal, actually way below normal. 58 in Lawrence, 55 in Cameron. That's why I say many layers are going to be necessary. There's a certain chill in the air that'll be around near 60 for Clinton and Butler. That's just one of the changes moving in here. But Saturday morning, that's the bigger change. that will really get your attention. Even more layers necessary for KU, among other things. Low temperatures between 33 and 38 degrees. That means possibility of some frost, and that means you may have to cover some plants and definitely cool stuff. But it doesn't last long. As I say, this is not the end of summer for sure, and it starts to feel like fall for here on out. We are going to bounce back within the nine-day forecast, getting close to normal, if not a little above. So 63 will be the high on Saturday, 45 to 73 degrees on Sunday. There's that rise close to normal. Monday, 76 degrees for Monday night football, but still talking about 20% chances of rain Tuesday and Wednesday as well. Temperatures staying in the 70s for the most part, but cooling down to the 60s, and that's going to be below normal once again Thursday through Saturday of next week.